Download SurrealDB by running this command. You will get a file called surreal.exe. Put this file anywhere you want in your computer. I have it under the htdocs folder. Once you have done that, run this command. Pay attention to the user admin and the password password. Press enter. The server is up and running. Now, create a new Thunder client collection. In this case, I call it SurrealDB and make sure that you have the settings set up correctly. For now, the settings of the whole collection are in the header content type application JSON. The namespace is company and the database is company. You can change this namespace to whatever you want and the DB to whatever you want. In the out tab, make sure that you have admin and the password is password. That is the same password that you created when you run the server. Let me show you the line right there. So that will be the password. Once you have done that, the last thing is the options. We're going to set the base URL to be localhost port 8000 forward slash SQL. It must be like that in order to run. Once you have the header, the out and the options set up, we can start creating some requests. So the first one I have here is the create user one. All the requests are going to be post. They're going to be at the body and they are going to be in text format. So for now, I already run this example. I will do it with you again. What I will do is just send, and then you can see how I get the first user created. The name is A, and the email is at A. Right here, we have the name A, the email at A, and the ID is user1, which is this ID there. You don't need to do anything in the URL or anything else. Just post, body, text, and send the request. If you send the request again, it says that the record for user1 already exists. Let's go to user2. In user2, same thing, post, body, text. This has a test that I have previously run, so what I will do is just run it again, and then you can see how I get the ID user2, the email, and the name created from this command. Let's go ahead and create item1. The exact same thing, post body text. The item one has a name called item one and the price is 10. Send, you get the ID, the name and the price. Same for item two. You obviously don't have this in your computer because this is a previous test I ran. This should be empty. But when you click on send, you will get item two. Now let's look at get all users. Post body text, same, same. Select a start from user. This is in singular and it will select all the users. Click on send and we get user one and we get user two. If you only want to get user one, you say select the start from user colon one, which is the ID of the user. Click on send, you get user one. Now let's say that user one is going to buy item one, post, body, text, and we create a relation. We say that user one buys item one. You can call these buys whatever you like. Send, and you will get something like this. The ID will be different, but the buys column will stay there. It says that user one bought item one. Now another one. Let's say that item user one buys item two, post, body, text. We are going to create a relation, user one buys item two. Send, we get user one, item two buys. If we want to know all the items bought from user one, we say post, body, text, and then we're going to select all. This will be everything about user one. And we also want to get from buys the item, so all the items that the user bought, we will put it in this temporal variable called as board. This will be the alias of it. 
and then we also want to select everything that the user bought. Send the request and we get the result that says that the item, sorry, that the user one with name A with email at A has bought item two and item one. This is serverless because it's not using anything but just Thunder client or it could be Postman and just the database that of course has to be running in order to do this. I hope you liked it.